Good morning students. Welcome back to the English channel for grade 6. Students, in the last class we did the pre-reading task and I also explained the three paragraphs of this chapter. So in this chapter, so in this video I'll explain the summary or the gist of this approach, the lesson Friend in Need. Children, Friend in Need is an extract from the holy epic Mahabharata written by the great says Beda Basa. This extract is about Karna who was born to Kunti before her marriage. Karna, so he is the elder brother of the Pandavas. Once Kunti served says Durvasa with utmost devotion when he was a guest at the palace of Kunti. Says Durbasa was greatly pleased and he taught Kunti a mantra to invoke the gods. Accordingly, when the mantra was invoked, when the mantra was called, the gods should bless her with sons equal to themselves in glory. Kunti was a very young maiden, that means a very young girl, she out of curiosity invoked Lord Surya, the sun god. He blessed her with a child a male child who eventually became one of the greatest of all heroes. Up to this, I taught you in the last video. Now, a Swayambara had been arranged for Kunti to choose a husband. Kunti wondered how she could explain the child born to her after Lord Surya blessed her. So, she placed the baby in a basket and set it afloat on the river Ganga. The baby latter was found by a washerman named Athirath who brought him up as Karna. After many years, the enmity between the Pandavas and the Kauravas led to a war. Sri Krishna, the benevolent guide to the Pandavas, informed Kunti that a war is imminent between the Pandavas and their cousins, that is the Kauravas, leaving too much of bloodshed. in a great dilemma, great worried, trouble because Karna, her first born was with the Kauravas and he would fight with his brothers that is the Pandavas. He might kill his own brothers or might be killed by these Pandavas in the war. So Kunti made up her mind to tell Karna the truth regarding his birth and persuade him to leave Duryodhana and to join his brothers that is the Pandavas against the Kauravas. With Karna on, the, on their side, the Pandavas could easily defeat the Kauravas because Karna was very brave and very skillful. The next morning, she went to the banks of the Ganga where Karna had the habit of praying every morning after his prayers. After his prayers, he opened his eyes and saw Kunti. He greeted her. He greeted her respectfully. He bowed down his head before Kunti. That means he touched feet of Kunti. Kunti related the story of his birth and begged him to join his brothers, the Pandavas. And he said to defend them against the Kauravas. Karna gently told Kunti that he is indeed the son of Kunti. But Adhirat and Radha cared for him and brought him up. He told her that things would have been different if only she had revealed the truth when Krupacharya had challenged to reveal his parentage at the tournament. You remember Krupacharya has insulted Karna for his lineage that he is a Vasasman's son. At that time Kunti was silent. But Duryodhar befriended him, given his all the wealth, made him the king and so only he, Karna was able to show his skills. So Duryodhan had befriended him even though he was a charioteer's son and gave him wealth and fame. 
Karna asked her if it would be honorable to desert Duryodhana and Karna smiled sadly and made the difficult choice without any hesitation he held the honor the duty and friendship above everything else he questioned kunti that would he not be a traitor and a cheat if he deserted duryodhan that means if he left duryodhan at this time and kunti had no answer to karna's question she bent her head shamefully and left him with a heavy heart that means with a very sad heart this is the summary or gist of this lesson now let's do the exercise first let's write down or write down the glossary words or the hard words and meaning says meaning a holy man mantra means a holy saying invoke means to make a request especially to god glory means greatness wonder meaning desire to know something feel curious disturbed meaning getting confused fundal meaning showing love or affection persuade meaning making someone to do something or to motivate hurry means moving quickly heavy heart means sad raise means bring up lavish means give something generously rebuke means scolding or scold now let's do the exercise let us talk about this story say to the partner sitting next to you whether the following ideas are true or not true quote words from the text to justify your answer so let's start with the first question kunti was happy after begetting her first child means after bringing her first child to earth we have to say whether it is true or not true along with the justification answer not true because kunti with a heavy heart placed the baby in a basket and set it afloat on the river ganga question b it was the pandavas who did not treat karna kindly yes it is true because when krupacharya challenged karna to reveal his parentage at the tournament bhima flung hot words at karna and duryodhan befriended karna question c kunti was right in asking karna to join the pandavas true answer kunti said it is the pandavas you should lead not duryodhana's armies leave them come now join your brothers defend them against the kauravas my heart has been heavy within me all these years bring me peace now so this statement shows that he said this to karna question d karna was sad but he was determined to fight on his friend side yes true answer why it is true because karna said duryodhana gave me wealth of kingdom power armies more than that he gave me friendship a lifelong friendship would i not be a traitor and a cheat if i deserted him now so this is the answer second question speak to your partner about the points raised in these questions write down what you say question a what had durbhasa taught kunti answer is says durbhasa had taught kunti a mantra it was a secret verse to invoke the gods when invoked they would appear before her and bless her with sun equal to themselves in glory question b whom did kunti invoke kunti invoked surya that is the sun god question c what was kunti blessed with kunti was blessed with a child who would prove to be the greatest of all heroes question d what did kunti do with the child answer is kunti placed the baby in a basket and set it afloat on the river ganga question e why was kunti disturbed answer is the pandavas would fight against the kauravas and karna was on duryodhan's side karna would fight against his brothers so kunti was disturbed question f when did kunti meet karna to reveal the truth answer kunti met karna on the banks of the ganga where he was praying in the mornings question g why did karna refuse to leave duryodhana answer is when krupacharya challenged karna to reveal his parentage and when bhima flung hot words at karna it was duryodhan who befriended him who befriended him and gave him wealth a kingdom power armies and more than that he gave him friendship a lifelong friendship 
so Karna refused to leave Duryodhana. Question H. What did Kunti plead with Karna? Answer is, Kunti pleaded thus, it is the Pandavas you should lead, not Duryodhana's armies. Lead them, come now, join your brothers, defend them against the Kauravas. Question I. Did Karna become a traitor? Answer is, no, Karna did not become a traitor. Third question. Discuss with your friend and write down the answers to the following questions in two to three sentences. Question A. What did Krishna tell Kunti? Kunti say, Krishna said, War is near. Your sons will fight against their cousins. There will be much blood said. Question B. Why did Karna come to dislike the Pandavas? Answer is, Karna came to dislike the Pandavas because Bhima flung hot words at Karna at the tournament where Krupa challenged Karna to reveal his parentage. Question C. How did Duryodhana help Karna? Answer is, Duryodhana gave Karna wealth, a kingdom, power, armies and more than that he gave Karna friendship and wealth. Fourth, Read the following lines, discuss with your friend and answer these questions that follow. Question A. Would I not be a traitor and a cheat if I deserted him now? Answer. Who is the I? I is Karma, Karna. Second. Who was this person speaking to? Karna was talking to Kunti. What was the answer? Kunti had no answer. Question B. It is the Pandavas you should lead, not Duryodhana's armies. Lead them. So answer is, who said this? Yes, Kunti said this. To whom was it said? It was said to Karna. Why did she say this? She said this because Karna was her son. Question C. Your sons will fight against their cousins. There will be much blood said. Who does the phrase your sons refer to? Answer is, your sons refer to the Pandavas. Second, who said this? Krishna said this. Who will fight against whom? Answer is, the Kauravas would fight against the Pandavas. Fifth one, the words in the box given below mean a large number of, for example, a soul of fish refers to a large group of fish swimming together. Similarly, discuss with your friend and complete the following phrases with suitable words from the box. Children, there are some options are given. These are, these means collective nouns or a group of particular thing like bunch, group, posse, etc. We have to find out who, for which group it belongs to. Like dash of constables, we used to say posse of constables. Dash of stars, yes, galaxy of stars. Dash of bees, a group of bees are called swarm. So, swarm of bees. A group of people. A dash of girls, group of girls are called jiggle. A dash of owls, yes. Owls are called a parliament of owls. A flight of steps. A dash of sheep, a fleet of sheep. A bundle of sticks. A bunch of keys. A dash of ants, colony of ants. A dash of lions, a pride of lions. A group of lions are called pride. So these are the collective nouns we discussed. Sixth question. Strike up the words in the box below that are not suitable. Karna made a choice not to desert the Kauravas to join the Pandavas. This shows that he held dash above everything else. We have to find out or select the attributes of the virtues. Like he selected duty, honor and friendship above everything else. Now, grammar part children, I'll teach you this grammar. In this chapter, the grammars are preposition. So, let's discuss what is preposition and where to use this type of prepositions. Children, preposition is a word which is placed before a noun or a pronoun to show its relationship, to show its position with some other word in context to some other words in the sentence. For example, at, in, on, under, for, from, into. These are the common prepositions. So, we will learn about this preposition. It is mostly used to show the direction, location, time or to introduce an object. 
For example, let's fill in the blanks with these suitable propositions and I will make you explain this. First one, Kunti sat dash the bank looking dash as he stood dash the river meditating dash Surya. So here Kunti sat dash the bank children here it is used as a expressing a surface of something. So where it is used as a surface of something we should use the preposition on. So we can use Kunti sat on the bank looking at Karna because at is used for specific location or specific place or specific person if it is particular. So he is looking at Karna specific person as he stood dash the river in the river because in is used while expressing a location or a larger place. So here river is a larger place so in is used meditating dash Surya on Surya because here again it is used as a particular state of something okay so on should be used second Karna came up dash the river it is a starting point of somebody coming out so you can use from the river and touched Kunti's feet you look very much worried oh great one you have never spoken dash me before said Karna so here it should be to because to is used to indicate a relationship like I have an answer to your question so here relationship is shown by two so you have to use the preposition to d i will do whatever i can dash you tell me how can i help you so here the preposition would be for because for is used to show the uh, kind of something if you are showing to use of something or if you are using it as a because of that means i will do whatever i can because of you it is showing the relationship like you can say they were happy for my success so here it is because of my success children i had given you a video made a complete video on preposition and the parts of speech please go through this and understand the use of preposition next writing do you want your friends to know you better then write a paragraph about yourself you could write about yourself from any point of views or choose one of the following topics your ambition you can say my ambition is to study well and become a teacher i want to educate the future generation of india i want to fulfill dr kalam's dream to some extent question b thing you enjoy doing the most yes you can write the answer as i like to mind the class when there is no teacher in the class i like to tell them stories and entertain them with word game and learn the lessons in a playful way Question C, your hobby. You can write any of your hobbies. Like I can write, my hobby is to collect pictures from the magazines and newspapers on the theme Natural Calamities. And I paste these pictures and prepare a scrapbook and present that to the school library. Work with your partner and do the exercise given below. The Mahabharata is an epic of ancient India. In one part of this dash epic. A strange dash takes place, yes, moment takes place between a mother and her dash son. It is heartbreaking to know of them, but the dash is determined, the mother is determined to ask a favor of her son. The son sadly tells that he cannot oblige her. Read this story to find out why the mother must tell dash him for the very first time, who she really is. What favor she asks of him, does she or does she not feel justified in asking the favor? And what the son tells her in return. So this is the fill in the blanks. Children, there is two uh, activities speaking. Say the following sentences clearly but as quickly as you can. So you can say it very quickly. I feel a fill, a funny fill, a funny fill, I feel. If you feel the fill, I feel. You will feel the fill, I feel. Second is, his striving for perfection with constant preparation and determination was not only his obsession but his passion. So you can say it quickly and clearly like this. See here you can uh, see that the pronunciation for T-I-O-N and double S-I-O-N is little different. You have, to, you have to stress on the syllables that is the vowel sounds. Okay, like shun and shun, like expression and determination or obsession. Done children? 
Hope you understand. You have to stress the syllable. Children, I have made a video on syllables also with games. Watch this and again practice the syllables. Do you understand everything? Hope you understand. Thank you for watching children.